within our province, you are aware that nearly 80% of our inhabitants remain dormant in that because of their inability to use technology and internet, they are not active participants of the economy. Therefore, uh, rural communities become a priority regionally and nationally. Our university has found the relevant formulas. Since inception in November 2014, we have trained outside the university students uh, 4,200 uh, individuals. Uh, currently, we have a capacity to train 400 individuals per month, which translates to just over 5,000 in a year. And it, it seems that we are going to be asked to expand that number. There are three groups of uh, uh, researchers that are assisting us. In education, we are looking at the impact of uh, the, what we are teaching in, with unemployed youth and schools. In, uh, when we are dealing with clinics, we want to look at the social impact that, that the, our intervention has within the, uh, within the clinic. Many of the people know how to use a computer, but then the most important thing is how do you use a computer? How do you improve yourself in terms of using technology? So this is uh, mainly the project that is uh, uh, working towards uh, not making people to be computer literate, but then for people to be able to use a computer, to produce things using a technology, using computer. We are also helping these young ones and not to uh, room around the streets and doing nothing and also uh, helping them in terms of a uh, uh, what are the things that they can do has engaged the community or how they, uh, they can, can serve a community better. So I was also the first to organize a unemployed, train, a unemployed youth training uh, with uh, the youth that were around uh, 15 of them uh, that came here for uh, digital literacy. I've seen young people who have got jobs and they've come when we meet in, in the streets and then they talk about the, the program to say we thank you very much that today I'm able to use a computer, today I'm able to, to be a cashier because you assisted us a lot to, to do that. As now we're living in the 21st century, the kids at school, they want to learn by themselves. So the teachers that told or that, that taught how to facilitate their class and using technology to make sure that uh, learning is, is taking place. The nurses, they'll tell you that the statistics that they used to do, they were not quite sure that if it's accurate because they were normally punching in the numbers. But now with formulas that are invested in Excel, they're able to get a positive result that they're looking for in terms of charts, in terms of, of, of numbers. The impact of the work that we do on the people that we serve is both tangible and immediate. Um, the, the participants in our training courses are uh, immediately empowered by um, access to technology. But a group of uh, healthcare workers from the Mutali area approached us and said, we don't really want to, to present uh, our presentation to each other. We all know about the, um, the issue that we're talking about, but we'd rather go to one of the schools which they did. So they presented a, um, uh, a talk on malaria and the signs and symptoms of malaria and they tested all the, the kids in the school for malaria. So that was a real um, immediate e effect and impact of, of the training. So instead of just um, having a, a sort of training result that, that is kept within the training, um, the healthcare workers are actually going out into their communities and making use of the skills that they've learned to inform the, the, their communities, which is really fantastic.